My family may not be perfect. We may not always see eye to eye, but one thing we do agree on, we are for sure family. Hey, welcome back, For Sure Family. In today's video, I'll be doing a review of the iRobot 960. Uh, everyone, y'all may be wondering how this came about or why am I doing this review. My wife did a Clean With Me guest bedroom edition and some of the subscribers left comments that they wanted to, me to do, they wanted us to do a review on the iRobot, so here we are. So before we get started today, uh, this is pretty much what it looks like out the box. Um, I don't have the box with us anymore. We bought this back in uh, November uh, 2018. So I'm just going to go over a few things. Uh, again, I'm no, no expert on this, but I'm just going to let you know a little bit more in depth about the product. So this is what it comes with. It comes with the iRobot itself. It does come with a docking base, is what you see right here. It does come with this, uh, they call this a wall barrier. And then it also comes with this extra uh, brush. So here's the owner's manual. So I'm gonna, I don't, again, I don't know all these parts by name, so I'm just gonna open up the owner's manual and go over that with you. So before we get in depth, just to go over the, some of the quick overviews on this uh, iRobot 960. Um, Y'all may be wondering how long does it last? Uh, well, when you, it takes about one hour and 15 minutes to charge and you can use it for 75 minutes of vacuuming. So basically the time that it takes to charge is how much time it'll take for each vacuum so if you're wondering and what's cool about this vacuum that when it starts to get low it will return to the base and recharge itself up and then it will undock and begin vacuum again and one of the better features on this thing when compared to the i Roomba 6 series this 960 has five times the suction power. It does work with um, Alexa and also it works with Google Assistant. This, according to the website, this Roomba is ideal for homes with pets and it cleans dirt, debris, and also it's stating that it picks up allergens which can't be seen to the human eye. It says it's picking up 99% of all cats and dog allergens. So if you have an allergy out there, this may be something you may want to look into. Again, the description and the link is below. So without further ado, I'm gonna go on into a more further detailed review of the iRobot Roomba 960. Right here, we have a little handle, and this is what you're supposed to use to pick up the Roomba. So, you know, I myself, when I first got this machine, I would pick it up like this on the sides, but, you know, when you read the manual, it lets you know that, hey, there's a handle right here, and it makes it a lot easier for carrying it around. Putting it back on the base. Right here, we turn the Roomba around. It has a built-in camera. This is what you use to navigate the room and uh, to move around the furniture. Right here, we have three buttons at the top. They see the home button. You press that button if you want the Roomba to go back to the base. The middle button, as you can see, it says clean. Basically, it's the power on button. So you power it on and you press Roomba to clean. Right here, it looks like a little sniper symbol. And this is really for spot cleaning. So there, if there's a spot in the area, you can pick up the Roomba by the handle, place them on the floor, 
then click on the spot area and it'll clean that spot. So we're gonna flip the Roomba around and go over some of the details on the back. Again, this is the Roomba 960. I don't know if y'all can see that. So on the back, it has these little sensors right here. These are called cliff sensors, which they help the ro robot if you have stairs in your house to not fall off the stairs or if there's any high level areas in your house like we have it'll prevent that from happening has a, this small roller to help it maneuver to turn left and right and has these two big wheels on there to help it go straight this little brush right here i'll try to get a close-up of that so this little brush right here, this helps get the edges against the wall. Then we have your two main rollers, and this is what picks up your degree. Uh, I'm not sure why they're two different colors. And then in the back here, I don't know if you can see this red bottom. This right here, this is your uh, place where it collects all the debris and dust. So if we turn the Roomba back over, right here it has like a little bumper rail. It's like kind of protect the Roomba. So what it'll do, and I will demonstrate that in a little bit. When it hits something, then it's like a little bumper that has a little shock absorber on there. So it'll hit it and then he'll turn in, a, in a, another direction to start cleaning. So right here, we have the, the waste tray right here. This is the part where you would dump in the trash. It has this little bin, you just open it up and you dump all the dust and dirt out. Right here, this is the filter. That's it right now for the quick review. Again, let me see if I can demonstrate uh, if I press the home button. Let's see if he'll go home. See, he's docking. And he's docked. And now he's charging up on his own. Right here, you can, I know you can't see it, but there's little icons on top to tell you that he's charging. And so, so this completes the review portion and now we're going to go to the review of him actually vacuuming and we'll show the Roomba um, vacuuming on uh, the room that we're going to be taking to is our sunroom. The reason why I chose that room because it has tile and it has carpet which it'll really show you how well the automatically adjusts to the carpet and back to the tiles simultaneously without any issues like it's really flawless uh, we really like this product it, 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 is, it is a real lifesaver because this house is mostly hardwood floors so we don't have to spend a lot of time vacuuming or dusting we just set the Roomba and let it go so welcome back guys um, the reason why I chose this room because it has towel and has carpet so I'm gonna let the Roomba go and that's why I'm on my knees because I'm gonna have the camera facing downward so you can see the Roomba as it uh, navigates through this room. Uh, the, this room is already pretty much clean already. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Like I said, before we begin, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, comment, hit that bell for notification. So here we go with the Roomba. So I lay some materials down and I'm going to demonstrate the spot cleaning. So I'm just going to set the Roomba down. <clears throat> I'm going to hit this spot clean right here.
But you see when he spot cleans, they, he goes in a circle pattern. And you see that he's actually got all the materials up 100%. So I'm really impressed by him. Like I said, this Roomba does a really good job. And he's completed his spot cleaning. So we'll move on to the next test. Okay guys, in the next demonstration, we're going to demonstrate how Roomba, he doesn't fall off the edges, you can see. Okay guys, in this, in this test will attempt to allow you to see how the Roomba goes home. So I'm gonna press the home button and we'll see how the Roomba docks with the docking station. Keep in mind, the docking station must be against the wall because if not, the Roomba will just push the docking station.
So as you see, I pressed the home button. The Roomba did go back to the base and now it is charging. As we look on the top, you'll see a little red flashing button to let you know that the Roomba is charging. And again, it takes about one hour and 15 minutes for it to fully charge. And then, you know, you'll also have one hour and 15 minutes of vacuuming time. And when the Roomba gets low on its own, it will return to the base and recharge itself, and then continue on wherever it left off in your house. So now we're gonna empty the Roomba to see how much it picked up. <clears throat> so again, you would just, this little button right here, you go ahead and set it down, remember, out of all those Cheerios, so there you go. Let's go to a little bit dirty, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, clean this out as well. Place it back. Put it back on the charger and you're done. Hey guys, so this is the last thing I have to go over with you. This is supposed to be the barrier wall. Um, this is about the only thing that I don't believe that really works. And the only reason why I say that, cause we have this on one of our couches, cause he normally gets stuck underneath there. And what it's supposed to do is there a little button on the back. So you have two options. And we want to push it up. It creates an invisible barrier wall, like a straight line beam. And it's supposed to prevent the Roomba from coming past that line. And then the other setting is you press it down and now it creates like a half circle barrier. And this will be in case you have some pets or they have some food on the floor and you don't want them to come in that area, you would put it downward and they'll create a U-shaped invisible barrier where the Roomba is not supposed to uh, penetrate that barrier area. But because we set it to the beam and I know that our Roomba has many times gotten stuck underneath our couch. Uh, I'm gonna say that this, for me, I don't think it really works. Uh, let me know in the comments if we're doing something wrong, maybe I'm using it incorrectly. But uh, for me, this uh, barrier wall doesn't seem to work, but again, I'll have all of the links in the description below and if you would like to purchase the Roomba I'll have the link and you can click on the link and it'll take you directly to the product. Uh, again this uh, product is being advertised on Amazon and right now Amazon is doing six months of you just free if you use their Amazon store card. So this concludes our video for today. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. Until next time, we'll see you. This is a warm welcome from the bottom of our hearts from the Foreshore Family Channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Until next time, see ya.